Hello dear students, in this uh, INR5, we are going to discuss semen analysis which is given by WHO in 2020. We are going to compare with the semen analysis which was given by WHO in 2010. So let's start. We are going to compare between the 2010 and 20 semen analysis parameters by WHO. So what are the parameters which had been used in the semen analysis? Number one is semen volume. Number two is semen concentration. Number three is total mortality. Number four is progressive mortality. And number five is viability of the sperm. And number six is the morphology in the normal form. So there are total six morphological patterns in 2010 and 2020. So first we will see uh, semen volume, which was in 2010, it was 1.5 ml. But in 2020, it has been decreased to the 1.4 ml. Right, so now the latest guideline, semen volume is 1.4 ml, which is decreased now. Right, semen concentration is 15 million per ml, which was in 2010. And in the latest guideline, it has become 16 million per ml, which has been increased. Right, so it is 16 million per ml. Total motility was previously 40%. Now it has been increased to the 42%. Progressive motility was 32% and it has been decreased to 30% in the latest guideline. So now it is also decreased. Viability is 58% but now viability is 54% which is again decreased. Morphology which is the normal form of the morphology. This is the only parameter which is still the same. So that is the striking point in the semen analysis, which examiner may ask in exam also, right? So now we can see that in all these parameters, semen volume is decreased to 1.4 ml. Semen concentration has been increased to 16 million per ml. Total motility has been increased to the 42%. Progressive motility has been decreased to 30%. Viability is 54% which is again decreased and morphology of the normal form is still the same which is the 4%. So keep revising all these for your exam and this was the PYQ also. Best wishes for your exam.